Hello everybody and welcome to insert series name here. Today we're gonna do insert bot name one and insert bot name two. Ah shit. It's death roll! So first up today is Death Roll, who was sent to me by Mecha Goji, and I think this is the first time he actually sent a robot. And for a first time build, it's, he's done pretty well here. I like the choice of the Fireman's Axe as the choice of weaponry on the blade, since they had a red disc that was, I think, asymmetrical and was supposed to look like the whole country of Australia? I don't even know. That's what I heard. Um, the tail moves, as you can see. It's got some DDTs in there, one on its side inside the body, which you can see now, and then two on the end of it. The one problem with this robot, you can see there's a lot of room in the body. There's three batteries in there, there's a lot of stuff in there. And there's so much room, it's such a heavy bot at 713 pounds that it's it's definitely going to cause this bot some issues. The wheels also, it looks good size-wise compared to what, what, what the real bot was. Do they have a lot of clearance though? Do they touch a lot? I don't know. Uh, we're going to see how much it affects this robot. I do think a smaller version of this bot would work perfect. I like everything about it. Um, maybe just could be a little bit smaller, but we'll see how it goes. Hey, get off my ass! What the fuck? Okay, you can turn at any time, Death Roll. You can get away at any time! Come on! Fucking ass clouds! What? Oh, not again. Alright, let's try this again. Um, or not. You want some fuck? Well, this turned quickly into your classic Pornhub gangbang. See you later, alligator. See, the body actually works if there's somebody in front of him. Gonna... Oh, I'm gonna piss in your soup! What? 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 How do I get flipped there? How does it happen? Hey, how about a little less questions and a little more shut the hell up? I'm bouncing off the walls again. Whoa. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna go take a wheel off. Nom, nom, nom. This is pretty good. Oh shit! Oh. Okay, well, I guess it worked out in the end. Hester's gonna take it! All the way for a touchdown! Crikey. So of course this is the time when we normally grade a bot, but Death Rolls only had two fights, one of them being a rumble, so we can't give an accurate grade for this robot. I will say though, it was pretty nice looking. Um, I just think a smaller version of the bot, and I'm not sure what the problem would be, because obviously he struggled to turn and to just drive in general. Is it the weight? Is it the wheels not touching enough? I don't know. My challenge to you, Mecha Goji, if I haven't said already, because I'm editing this so early on, can you make a smaller version of this? Because I think that would be a very good robot. It's Lockjaw, Esquire. Next up, Modern Dissector, as built by me. Now I had an idea of how I wanted to do the weaponry for him when I first started out. I wanted to get a servo motor in there to slowly bring down the top part of the jaw and then be able to flip, but it just wasn't lining up properly and you're going to see now all the different stuff that's in the front there. So I just put a couple of the snapper two burst motors on the top, one that flips down so that he can get it under robots or use it to clamp, and then there's the other two on the bottom that use the flipping ability. He does tip forward when I try to flip with bots. I used to have a bunch of ballast, a bunch of weight ballasts in the back there, but it wasn't doing anything. He still kept popping up in the back. So if you look in the front here, you're going to see a couple of the base plate anchors. Connected to those are some black round extenders, kind of like what I did with Mega Tento, trying to keep him down in the front a little bit. This works better, and I didn't realize until I was done with recording that they actually pop up the front wheels a little bit, so that'll need to be slightly adjusted. But yeah, that's Lockjaw. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're leaning the right... Oh, wait, what? How? Okay, we're getting a lot of voodoo bullshit in this episode. What was that? No, make it stop! Stop whining! I'll stop whining when this stops happening! The wild lockjaw stalks his prey. 
grabbing a hold of his head as the bear flails mercilessly. And then Lockjaw gets flipped out of the arena. I don't give a fuss. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuss. I swear Emergency cares more about me losing than him winning. I didn't have anything funny for this. I just wanted you to see that the flipper works. This must be very painful oral. Yay, wheels! Everyone likes wheels. Oh. Well played, sir. Oh, thank you. Hey, that didn't happen to me this time. How's it feel? Just a flesh wound. Give me your lunch money, punk! Is this the first time we've ever taken two wheels off of iPoker? I feel like it is. That's the best damn pussy I ever had! Come on, get over. There we go. Oh, there's still time for one terrible pun. Baby, lock them jaw and turn them lights down low. So it's time to grade Lockjaw, and he wasn't too bad of a robot. There was a lot of things he did right. Appearance... I felt like I could have shaped the body a little bit better, not much I could have done about the color, but he did have a little decal on the top of him that I could have gotten until I realized it was too late when I found it on Google. I thought the weapon was incredible, it was able to do a little bit of flipping, and it grabbed very well. I, we just need to see a little bit more from him in real life. Record accuracy, it was a poor start for him, but he went 14-2 and two in recording compared to the 2-3 and three in real life. I mean, way off, but maybe if he fought more, we'd know a little bit more. But yeah, I had a very fun time with this robot. Hey, you! Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the BattleBot's name below. Oh god damn it, fuck you, you piece of shit! Oh wait, we're Canadian, we're supposed to be nice. Oh, I'm sorry, was that in your way, eh? Wow. Appears he's gotten stuck between a cold and a hard place.